sir our vp has joined sir no you can start any time yes sir Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Proceed, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, all. Yeah. Celebrating the Silver Jubilee Year of Steam at Antaman Arts and Science College, Autonomous Trichy, and on behalf of PG and Research Department of Computer Science, we cordially welcome you all for the fifth day of International Lecture Series on Cyber Security. A day without a prayer is a day without a blessing. Now I invite Mr. J. Jainty of Computer Science Department to start the program with the prayer song. Please, ma'am. Vandama ke Shri Vandama Padu Vangam Shri Ranga Shetra Pavitro Jvala Parichatam यत्र सर्वे नित्यं पटंतिते पाठा प्रवृत्तास्ते सुशील गुणाशरा सुशोभिता सर्वत्र सर्वता देहात्म प्रभाव पोषति वणी स्थापित प्रयोगशालासु सम्य प्रकाशय स्वप्रभाव अत्रीत विज्ञासु निपुणास्ते विदेश उज्ज्वाल साधा प्रभाव Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Welcoming is our tradition. Welcoming is our duty. Now I request Mr. K. Kalyanu Sundaram, Assistant Professor of the PG Research Department of Computer Science, to welcome the gathering. Please, sir. A pleasant evening to one and all. On behalf of the management and my own. It is a great honor and pleasure to welcome you all for the last day of five days international lecture series on cyber security. I cordially welcome our resource person, Dr. Sambath Kumar Vengadachari, Senior IT Manager, Boswana, South Africa. Welcome you, sir. Next Thank I, you. Next, I welcome our Vice Principal for today's session. Welcome you, sir. Thank you, sir. I would welcome the staff members, research scholars, and the students of various institutions for today's session. Once again, I'll welcome you all. Thank you for the given opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A great mentor is able to lead the mentee with empathy, sensitivity, and patience. While constantly adapting the changes in times and in complex circumstances, such a mentor is with us. Now I invite our respected Vice Principal, Sir Dr. M. Pichaymani, to give the valedictory address. Please, Sir. Most respected guest speaker, respected head of the department and the faculty colleagues of Computer Science Department, and my dear participants, good evening to all. It gives immense pleasure to me to associate myself as a part of the international lecture series organized by the PG and Research Department of Computer Science of our college. At the outset, I would like to congratulate the head of the department and the faculty colleagues for taking such a nice initiative to organize the five-day international lecture series on cyber, cyber security. At the juncture, I would like to record my special thanks to Dr. Sambath Kumar Vengadachari, 
senior IT manager from Botswana, South Africa, the resource person of the five-day lecture series for sharing his expertise knowledge on cyber security to our faculty members and with the participants. Uh, this program proved that it, it would be the meeting ground for faculty and the research scholars of the computer science department. It is indeed an effective platform to share their knowledge and ideas. Uh, finally, I would like to uh, thank once again uh, to the guest speaker, uh, Dr. Sambath Kumar sir, for taking uh, such a nice uh, participation in the lecture series program. And also, I would like to convey my uh, wishes to all the participants uh, for uh, participated in the uh, five-day lecture series program. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your wishes, sir. Uh, now the session is handed over to our resource person. Yes, sir. Good evening. Thank you very much. I'm really humbled by the gesture of so many participants. Um, and indeed, it's a pleasure to have uh, so many people on board to just you know, have a view on cybersecurity. Before I start, let me quickly thank one and all for everything, all protocols observed. Um, let me share my screen. Give me a minute. Is my screen visible? Yes, Can someone yes, confirm my screen is visible, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, before this, today's session is divided into two segments. One is um, a continuation of cybersecurity we had yesterday. And uh, we'll also be talking about largely on digital forensics. So let me start by playing a video. A small video. Can a nation be brought to its knees? Well, I'm sending you the code. Yes, I see that. Thank you. For you, to you. We have a winning. These coasts has already gone down. All right. Put everything on emergency generators. How the hell are they getting past us? Gabriel, be a cyber spook for him, okay? First day on the job, goes into his bosses and tells them this nation's security infrastructure is wide open to compromise. And what do they say? We'll take it under advisement. This dude don't ease up because he's committed like you read about. So he breaks into a meeting on the Joint Chiefs of Staff, okay? And using just a laptop, hacks into NORAD and shuts down our entire defense network. So they put a gun to the man's head and forced him to stop the hack. Thomas Gabriel is the guy who shut down NORAD with a laptop just to prove a point. You think I'm scared of you? Just tell yeah. us how to find a guy. I know how to find a guy. He's a ghost, man. He just fell off the grid. Another dead end. Come on. Hold on. Wait, McLean. Listen, Warlock. Uh, good evening. Welcome, um, all participants. This was a short video, a little video presentation from the movie Die Hard. 
um on a movie la vand what you actually saw was how a nation can actually be brought down to its knees adu panna mudiyuma appdi ketta panna mudiyum adala kaaranam gal vand ekkachakamana vishayangal irukku basically each and every um service that you is provided these days is controlled by machines computers um idukku or staggering example சொல்லணும் அப்படின்னா இந்தியாவில் வந்து ஒரு டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன் டூ தௌசண்ட் டென்லாம் ஆஃப் கட்ஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மேஜர் காம்ப்ரமைஸ் வாஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டக்ஸ் நெட் வேர்ம் அதான் ஸ்டக்ஸ் நெட் வேர்ம் வாஸ் ஆக்சுவலி டிசைன்ட் டு அட்டாக் த நியூக்ளியர் பவர் பிளான்ட் இன் ஈரான் பட் அது என்ன ஆச்சுன்னா ஒரு 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 பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் இட் காட் அவுட் of hand or it started even uh, targeting all the cement controllers uh, across the globe so they were um, impacts the impact actually was felt across the globe some of the controllers from uh, india larger controllers could india larger power segment larger controllers could they were hit by this worm so in the end idukella kaaranam enna apdi eduthu analyze panni paathona it is basically firmware patching larger vulnerability and the vulnerability எப்படி எக்ஸ்ப்ளாய்ட் பண்ணலான்னு நேத்தி ஏற்கனவே இதை பற்றி பேசியிருக்கேன் ஒரு அட் லென்த் இஃப் தெர் இஸ் அ வல்னரபிலிட்டி இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி எக்ஸ்ப்ளாய்ட் நோ மேட்டர் வாட் ஸோ இந்த எக்ஸ்ப்ளாய்டேஷன் எதுக்காக ஆகும் அப்படின்னு நினச்சோம்னா ஜஸ்ட் டு ப்ரூவ் அ பாயிண்ட் அப்படின்னு கூட வச்சுக்கலாம் இல்லை இட்ஸ் மோஸ்ட்லி ஜஸ்ட் டு கே ஃபினான்ஷியலி மோட்டிவேட்டடாக இருக்கலாம் இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய விஷயங்கள் இருக்குதுல ஸோ இன்னைக்கு ஒரு சின்ன part of idu uh, vande is also uh, software as a service um, platform as a service infrastructure as a service idhalala vande enna mari security issues irukke idhila edavadhu compromise panna mudiyuma appadina with pandemic in the pandemic has also actually speeded up the process of moving the servers and data centers to cloud cloud platform a lot ipo cloud pathi neethi pesumbodhu sollinna cloud அப்படிங்கிறது வேற ஒண்ணுமே இல்லை இட் இஸ் எ ஹோஸ்டட் டேட்டா சென்டர் பை சம்மன் எல்ஸ் ஸோ ஒருத்தர் வந்து ஒரு ஹி இஸ் ஹோல்டிங் ஹோஸ்டிங் அ பிக் டேட்டா சென்டர் அண்ட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்போசிங் இஸ் என்வாயன்மெண்ட் டு அண்ட் ப்ரொவைடிங் சர்வீஸ் டு அதர்ஸ் அப்படின்னு வச்சுக்கலாம் அதில் நிறைய விதமான செக்மெண்ட்ஸ் உண்டு சாஃப்ட்வேர் ஆஸ் அ சர்வீஸ் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தோம்னா சாஃப்ட்வேர் இஸ் ஹோல்ட் ஆஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் சர்வீஸ் வேர் யூ கெட் இன் டு அக்ரிமெண்ட்ஸ் வித் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கம்பெனிஸ் and the companies when they will request you to provide a specific software they the software vendor will have all control he will have access to um, uh, user access and data access but other day responsibilities in patana it will be generally divided if infrastructure as a service up in illa on premise eduthundu patana basically first on on premise pathi pesuvom on premise appadina the data center is hosted inside of the environment for ஒரு நம்ம அண்ணோ நேஷனல் காலேஜ் எடுத்துனோம்னா அதில் ஒரு பெரிய ஐடி என்வான்மெண்ட் இருக்குது அப்படின்னு வச்சுப்போமே அந்த ஐடி என்வான்மெண்ட்டில் யூ வில் ஹேவ் சர்வஸ் அந்த சர்வஸ் வந்து இட் கேன் பி ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேஸ் அதை ஒரு வர்ச்சுவலைசேஷன் பண்ணியிருக்கலாம் இல்லை இட் இட் கேன் பி ஏ ஃபிசிக்கல் சர்வர் வித் ஃபிசிக்கலி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சர்வஸ் வித் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் பர்பஸ் அது ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் சாஃப்ட்வேர் இன்ஸ்டால் பண்ணுறா டூயிங் சம் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஜாப் இப்போ அப்ளிகேஷன் கேப்சரிங் மட்டும் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னா யூ கேன் ஹேவ் அன் அப்ளிகேஷன் சாஃப்ட்வேர் விச் வில் ரன் ஓன்லி ஆன் அ பர்டிகுலர் சாஃப்ட்வேர் அந்த மாதிரி தே கேன் ஹேவ் செக்ரிகேட்டட் இல்லை வர்ச்சுவலைஸ் பண்ணியிருந்தாங்கன்னா யூ வில் ஹேவ் ஒன் சர்வர் அண்ட் யூ வில் ஹேவ் மல்டிபிள் சர்வர்ஸ் ரன்னிங் ஆன் த வர்ச்சுவலைஸ் என்வாயன்மெண்ட் ஆன் ப்ரொமைஸில் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் அண்டர் த கண்ட்ரோல் ஆஃப் த ரெஸ்பெக்டிவ் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன் ஆர் ஃபார்ம் ஆர் கம்பெனி ஹூ இஸ் ஹோஸ்டிங் இட் adala user access is controlled by the it environment data is controlled and protected by the it environment application operating systems network traffic ellame vande is generally monitored and controlled by the institution or the owner of the environment infrastructure as a service in patona again it can be divided into two segments one is customer responsibility enna apdingirathu innona vande Uh, cloud responsibility in the app. infrastructure as a service is you are providing your infrastructure um, on on sale or uh, as a 
cost on a cost to cost basis la so enna use pandromo adha base panni you can pay as you go abbingara models la nariya irukku idla so infrastructure as azure for example is an infrastructure as a service you can have it as an infrastructure as a service adha paathona there are there are responsibilities where uh, user access data um application operating system and network traffic are a part of customer responsibility whereas uh, uh, the cloud service provider one they will give you hypervisor infrastructure and the physical environment physical aspect of um, infrastructure to be monitored and maintained adhe mari if you look at platform as a service appin paathana platform as a service la you will have customer responsibility data and application as a part of uh, customer responsibility whereas os uh can be provided by the um, vendor so sila samayam the vendor will have uh, this is where the number actually comes into play when it comes to licensing ipo uh, vmware uh, environment or citrix environment or virtualization eduthukrom appadina na it is probably expensive it can be different licensing model adala so uh, a, a big data center uh, may have a licensing agreement with vmware for maybe say um vmware licensing like again like i said it depends on what type of cores you use what is that um nmre service use pano there are different models of licensing if if it is a core based licensing now one core ku ivula cost two core ku ivula cost illa 24 cores ku ivula cost and mari it is different so in that case what happens is a platform as services adore uh, cost ellame it will be a it will be charged to the customer um, as a part of service at a nominal cost adu vand it is a cost share pandra mari irukra mari kuda irukum models full share in the environment la or advantage enna apdi apdi nu paathona because of numbers the cost of um, uh, the platform as a service to the vendor actually sorry to the, to the customer actually comes down substantially it can be um, anything for that matter so even um, your uh, so network can also be used as a uh, platform where you have a uh, physical switch eduthundona you know if you take a so cisco switch you can have a 36 port uh, cisco switch um, but in a virtualized environment in platform as a service you can have about even 100 ports on a switch um, so because it's actually a virtualized environment so enna nama platform as service la enna maari agreements irko adha base panni um, we can get into some sort of um, uh, cost benefit uh, from a from the vendor or the supplier in software as a service again software as a service is a big area so for example the simplest thing is um, a health information management system apdi eduthunona um the application the operating system requirement network traffic requirement idella and is provided by the is the responsibility of the cloud provider whereas the user access and the data is um the responsibility of the customer so in the data user access and data is since it is controlled by the customer um it the response other uh, day security aspects also rest with the Uh, customer so each of this has got its own challenges the challenges illa the area kadaiyad ipo simplest ah paapom apdi enna na software as clouds so software as service cloud security issues la nariya irukku enna na visibility irukad clear ah data enna data irukku cloud application la enna eppadi protect pannalam illa theft of data enna mari exploit ah irukku because if software as a service la if the program has got some vulnerabilities or if the software itself has got some vulnerabilities it can be exploited and uh, the client may not even know and uh, data theft um in software as a service or platform as a service or infrastructure as a service is quite feasible adu panna mudiyadu apdingara areas la kadaiyad but generally if you look at it most of it will be they will have enough and more security under these com- conditions enna aguna agreements actually play a vital role um, and um, because uh, you will have a vendor agreement and a um, with a vendor to say these are the areas you are looking into this is these are the areas that i am looking into it becomes the responsibility of uh, partial security or uh, about um, 
security from a from from a different point of view uh, on data and things like that so in the event of an application or a patch getting uh, not getting patched properly uh, the customer can actually sue the vendor because his data is exposed so there are agreements adala uh, vandu it becomes very crucial to understand the legal aspects of the um, legal elements of the agreements idla nariya vishayangal irukke or monitoring data in transit from to and cloud applications idella la konjam correct ah monitor panna mudiyada sulnalavigal la kuda nariya irukke sila per enna panuvaanga na they will have they may even have an hybrid sort of uh, um environment where your partial your data is partially exposed exposed in the cloud whereas your data actually sits in the uh, local environment there are uh, certain um, management uh, tools that can be used in a hybrid environment panna mudiyadhu abingara oru idu ungalada cloud applications vand uh, can also be um, um, provision from outside அது வந்து அதுக்கு வந்து மோஸ்ட்லி வி கால் இட் அ ஷேடோ ஐ ஷேடோ ஐடி ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இட் இதில் மேஜராக பார்த்தோன்னா க்ளவுடில் வந்து ஒன் ஆஃப் த பிக்கெஸ்ட் சேலஞ்சஸ் இஸ் டெக்னிக்கல் எபிலிட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டாஃப் டு மேனேஜ் த செக்யூரிட்டி இன் க்ளவுட் ஓவரால் பார்த்தோன்னா க்ளவுட் சர்டிஃபிகேஷன் இருந்து இல்லை நான் வந்து ஐ எம் அண்ட் அசூர் க்ளவுட் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் நான் இதெல்லாம் என்னால் பண்ண முடியும் அப்படின்னா வாட் தே ஆர் லுக்கிங் அட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி நத்திங் இப்போ ஒரு ஐடியை பொறுத்த வரையிலும் சம்மன் சேஸ் தட் ஐ எம் அன் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் இன் சர்டன் ஏரியாஸ் தட் மீன்ஸ் ஈஸ் ஜீரோ இன் தட் ஏரியா தெர் இஸ் நோ ஒன் நோன் ஆஸ் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் இன் ஐடி ஸ்கில் பிகாஸ் த ஸ்கில் செட்ஸ் சேஞ்ச் எவ்ரி டே இட் இஸ் நாட் நெசசரி தட் நேத்து இருக்கிறது இன்னைக்கு இருக்கணும் ஒரு பத்து வருஷம் கழிச்சு இருக்கிறது எனக்கு இன்னைக்கு தெரியணும் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு நெசசிட்டியும் கிடையாது அதனால இட் பிகம்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் த staff to staff or uh, um, the entire uh, people who handle it to keep constantly keep themselves upgrading uh, and it is not necessary that worth or oru idama pannala simplest ah paakanum appadina na or active directory configuration eduthano na i may do it differently uh, a person from uh, a different organization may do it differently பட் இந்த எண்ட் அதை எப்படி மேனேஜ் பண்ணுறோம் எப்படி என்ன விதமாக அதை ஹேண்டில் பண்ணுறோங்கிறது வந்து இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் மேனேஜிங் செக்யூரிட்டி ஆஸ்பெக்ட் ஆல்சோ பிளேஸ் எ வைட்டல் ரோல் இன் திஸ் பி இட் ஆன் ப்ரொமைஸ் ஆர் ஆன் க்ளவுட் ஸோ செக்யூரிட்டி ஸ்கில்ஸ் டு மேனேஜ் இன் க்ளவுட் என்வாயன்மெண்ட் ஆக்சுவலி இஸ் லேக்கிங் அண்ட் தெர் ஆர் லாட் ஆஃப் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் ஃபார் இட் ஸோ மெனி சாஃப்ட்வேர் கம்பெனி மெனி சாஃப்ட்வேர் ஆஸ் அ சர்வீஸ் கம்பெனிஸ் அதாவது big giants actually provide uh, uh, training on a regular basis to ensure that a new environment um, is uh, the staff actually get upgraded some of the companies also provide certifications to it either a major part of uh, certifications and eduthona na certification necessarily need not demonstrate the ability of a person to say that um, he is well and skilled in handling security it um, security handling comes only with uh, experience and expertise um apdi dhaan solla mudiyume thavara a person who has just he is just passed something out and says that i can handle this apdi na he can handle only to a maybe uh, out of 100% maybe he will be able to handle maybe 1% or 2% of it me the 98% of it is purely entirely different so idhila vande or passion irukano or idu irukanume thavara பேஷனோட சேர்ந்து இந்த ஒரு என்தூசியாசம் டு லேர்ன் இருக்கணுமே தவிர இல்லை நான் படிச்சிருக்கேன் அதனால எனக்கு வந்து இதை ஹேண்டில் பண்ணணும் இது என்னால் பண்ண முடியும் அப்படிங்கிறது லிட்ரலி சம்திங் தட் ஆஸ் ஐடி பர்சன் ஐ உடன் அக்ரி ஐ உட் ராதர் ஹையர் எ பர்சன் விதவுட் எனி ஸ்கில் பிகாஸ் இட் இஸ் ஈஸி டு டீச் ஹிம் ஹர் ஹர் ரேதர் தன் எ பர்சன் வித் சப்ஸ்டான்ஷியல் ஸ்கில்ஸ் பிகாஸ் த பர்சன் வித் எ ஸ்கில் will always have the idea saying that uh, i know this and this is the way i want to handle uh, but ana um, that may not very well work with an organization because their um, frameworks may differ uh, and their uh, uh, security necessities things may differ accordingly same thing will apply to inability to prevent malicious or misuse of data in the data because it is hosted in cloud 
there are a lot of areas, gaps in them. Advanced threats, persistent threats in cloud applications are also some of the areas where there are uh, challenges in it. Mm, so one of the major um, uh, thing in this is inability to maintain regulatory compliance because data almost all um, many countries have data protection acts in place and um, if we we'll say if i'm going to say take up an audit of about sample of about 10 companies to understand their regulatory and maintenance um, uh, regu regu regulatory compliance about 50 percent to 60 percent will definitely fail it is just only about 40 percent who may actually pass um, but even then the people the other companies that actually pass will have gaps and, and the gaps address under the is very very critical to understand the areas if we look at infrastructure as service um, it is something that i mentioned a couple of minutes most of this is uh, similar to what uh, sas or pass is Adil, um, one of the things that we have um, known constantly is to monitor the workload of uh, um, workload applications and workload in a cloud environment and its applications for vulnerabilities so lack of um, this could um, actually some workload up in now you may have thousand people connecting to a small system which has got um, very minimum ability to uh, control you know, you know give the necessary service so it becomes availability it actually becomes a very big query in this area idla sila areas iruk devops uh, development operations and irukra uh, idu uh, has repeatedly adu vandu or enna solradhu appadina exploits and vulnerabilities ku vandu um, it is very essential to ensure that they are um, monitored, uh, integrated into development, your quality assurance is uh, assured. So, you know, and it is also necessary to ensure that uh, it is not just one standalone system um, that um, actually, um, or a standalone system or a security verification team, every Kumo, and the Mari or a team with a Yirinthe. Uh, monitor panni adoda crucial operating system uh, resources it is very very essential in a infrastructure as a service platform area so many companies also have automated deployment tools and applications to monitor these um, areas because one of the reasons for it is um, a shortage of security skills um, because the volume has also increased substantially in recent uh, times. So the security threats also have risen substantially. So it is very important um, to have automated tools in place to monitor. So the monitors can actually, automated tools can actually tell or send alerts to the person in charge to give us a few insights into what is going on in the environment. So. It is very important to understand all these challenges and um, concerns before we move on to infrastructure as a service or a platform as a service or a software as a service. So cyber security, the one were a brief um, you know, um, insights into what all is, um, what, what all is the uh, attack Areas for 2019, uh, this data was released by Hornet Security way back in 2019. But I have added a few here for July 2021 and June 2021, the current year. So, this major area applying path on energy accounts for about 16% of uh, energy industry accounts for about 16% of targeted ins institutions. But this actually went down in 2019 and health infrastructure was uh, sorry uh, uh, in 2020 and health infrastructure uh, segment was hit more um, because of the pa pandemic um, last year financial uh, segments and other segments also witnessed substantial increase because many people were working from home so in the energy sector, one water supply and water utilities. 
so water to supply and water utilities one is a part of critical infrastructure service so the critical infrastructure services la if i am able to control the controllers control valves on the uh, water utilities it is um, it gives me an um, hold whether to say okay i can actually stop water from flowing to this this many areas and i can hold the responsible uh, um, government or the on the, uh, or the um, people who actually provide this service um, to give us to pay us back uh, these are some of the ways that uh, hackers and uh, activists use them in a different way so or a rend recent or a rend mona attack nadandu one was a supply chain attack where uh, about 17 countries and the case anger or attack recent on the day about uh, july 2021 it's very recently anga paathana 70 percent of uh, the uh, um, companies actually uh, the demand uh, was actually about 70 percent um, and very many countries actually paid um, the you know, demand to get themselves out of this but um, most government regulations across the globe very clearly don't encourage paying any ransom but still just to make sure that you know uh, one of the example was the colonial pipeline hack that also took place uh, late um, early this year adhe um, mari or last october la mumbai power grid was was uh, entire mumbai power grid was shut down by a Uh, cyber security attack by chinese hackers it is believed that was china who hacked into the system but um, that is the report official report but um, not the official report but the unofficial report whereas the official report uh, actually says that it was a human error which not many uh, people in the security industry believe because they could see so many um, anomalies in the theory um there are many areas uh, which are of a concern as per the security threat data either uh, educational institution we say is about 6% but if we actually globally google and see or a uh, 10 edic- one in 10 or one in um, 20 uh, or uh, about 6 um, in 10 may have malware or uh, sql injections on their websites i have visited or 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 patnaleke munnadi kuda i visited one of the educational website uh, website paakum bodu immediately um, my threat alert systems immediately indicated that um, your um, this site has got malware in them in them so you have to either uh, it won't let you go some of the softwares uh, security uh, antivirus softwares actually don't let you visit those sites if your uh, software or a firewall is configured appropriately idhila configuration plays a major and uh, vital role adhila nariya area la vande um, misconfiguration nala um, your systems get actually compromised so idhila idhila in the educational institutions in paathana idhila websites la paathana many websites don't even get updated on a regular basis maybe uh, very once in 6 months or once in 8 months is when someone is going to go and update the data base but which is completely wrong so and idukku da and automated tools and um, monitoring systems irkano irundadna then you will know that okay if there is a problem in this website you can actually go back and look into it and um, address them so the reason why this is very crucial in case is um, because of the payment card industry ipo idile ivlo sites la problem irukku appadina uh payment in the say for example I, i as a student may use my credit card or debit card to pay the school fees apdi nechukoma his credit card or debit card credentials can be stolen if the website itself is a, is is embedded with malware so it's very important to monitor these areas and adukku vande automation tools vande it helps a lot so one of the uh, பாஸ்வேர்ட்ஸ் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தோம்னா பாஸ்வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ப்ரொடெக்ட் ஏ லாட் அப்படின்னு நம்ம வந்து பேசுகிறோம் பாஸ்வேர்ட்ஸ் மோஸ்ட் காமன் பாஸ்வேர்ட்ஸ் இப்போ ஒன்றும் இல்லை சாதாரண இஃப் ஐ டேக் ஏ சர்வே இந்த காலேஜ் எவ்வளோ பேர் என்ன மாதிரி பாஸ்வேர்ட்ஸ் யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னு பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்னா மெனி ஆஃப் தம் வில் யூஸ் தேர் ஸ்பவுஸ் நேம்ஸ் 
or um, pets name children name adu adoda set 1 2 3 indha mari use pandradha la romba frequent ah paakalam even if it is enforced by a domain controller to say this is the password that you have to use you can actually um, um, bypass them um, bypass not bypass them you can actually use it in such a way that uh, your um, you know, domain controller understands that this is a strong password which actually is weak and amari irundha na it is easy to break into the passwords so idhula oru chinna example sollam appadina how many times this is a data that was actually picked up from uh, one of the security sites so idhula 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are common passwords which has been hacked by about 23 million times avadi nechpo ana mari 2.3 million times appo nechpo ana 2.3 million times hack aayiruk appadina we still use them as a base uh, most of us will immediately when it comes to password what is easy to remember okay q w e r t y poduvom illa na let me use my play oh i love jesus let me put that um these are some of the things that actually are widely used and many of them use in a password um password a password ne adipa password ka yes ka dollar adikirudhu apruma at adikirudhu it is a work badala zero substance zero use pandradhu idala vandu is common techniques that even uh, most hackers will first try attempting only using these things um password one they not can easily go through uh, some have uh, abusive passwords so an abusive passwords are also some of the passwords that can actually be hacked into in uh, minutes or maybe even seconds so it's very important to use a combination of um, alpha numeric keys uh, which doesn't make sense for example um, passwords can be long in various nariya organizations la uh, one of the recommendations from an administrative point of view apdin paathona the password should have a minimum of 15 characters or 20 characters apdin solluva so when we do an audit these are things that we actually look at we look at um, asking the user to enter his password and we count the number of characters on them character adu vandu we won't see the password technically but uh, we will say and a star adigire star varache we will say 1 2 3 4 idu ivlo press irukke so in case it uh, if he uses an administrative account and uses a four letter as a password uh, then obviously uh, we raise red flags on that uh, it is important to understand that aspect um idhula nariya per enna mari passwords la vechirpaanga na wife odeya per or spouse odeya password so da romba illa children odeya password so these are some of the guess works that most hackers do because as a hacker first thing that we do is we observe the person if uh, for example say i want to uh, i want to say hack into upendran's account appdin paathana upendran ode avarude entire um, background and things like that is what we will check and we will wait for it and it is not necessary that um, adu check pannum bodhu we will use uh, facebook as a tool we will use whatsapp as a tool we'll look into so many different aspects and then we'll say okay the, the, this person has got 1 2 3 4 as a cap maybe we should try these as a password if we have to hack into it adukku da we will use phishing mails and spear phishing mails using his email id to say i'm going to just send a fictitious mail saying that like, um, my, i i i am so and so and i would like um, you know to you to be a part of presentation for some um, seminar and things like that and then immediately uh, the, the likeliness is that pendana or vande he will respond to that mail uh, and if it, if there is an attachment if he actually clicks on the attachment the likeliness of uh, uh, his uh, email account getting compromised is very high adu kapra we use that as a tool for moving it laterally to understand and um, take it forward so it's very important to understand all these aspects when we look at uh, uh, it from a security perspective um security best practices and patonna idile we sh- one of the important things that we look at is we should have an insider program and an insider program should also be in such a way that it should provide user training and uh, simulations um 
in cyber security training for for example as an um, this is this is a data from stealth labs um, picture from stealth labs which actually makes a lot of uh, sense for why do we provide training for example i am conducting i have about 1000 employees in the office i can actually target about 10% of the people uh, in um, the organization and send them with mails there are uh, training platforms for it and i will send them with mail saying that you know you have just won a lottery for about uh, 100000 dollars so on the 100000 dollars apdi baatha one the first thing um, most employees will feel oh is that i have just won adu vandu genuine mail mari da we will make it sound so the moment you look at it and you will say oh, i will oh i have 100000 dollars it is a good money to me apdi jolta adu poi click pannu the moment you click on that your uh, system actually you are actually compromised then we we can automate to say that you have to go through additional training um over um, in many organizations this is a compulsory module there is a compulsory module uh, which they use uh, for uh, training people and people who are identified as weak links they will be provided with additional training uh, so it is very important to have an um, inside a program and a training module to help uh, people understand why we are doing this it is not about the organization getting com- uh, compromised it is about the people getting compromised um, it is very very important that people are the core assets um, almost all cissp agato uh, security programs agato cism agato everybody looks at people as the core um, as i mentioned yesterday vulnerabilities or vulnerability irundadna it will be exploited no matter what so it is very important that when microsoft uh, for example microsoft server la vandu it has just realized that there is an exchange vulnerability abrina if microsoft pushes the update and to say that you have to update it is necessary that the software team actually has to uh, sorry the it team actually has to step in and update that uh, exchange vulnerabilities if they don't do that then their system gets compromised um it is also important to have a proper incidence response plan and the incident response plan should be tested on an uh, annual basis the incident response plan apdingirathu you can have a, in, a small uh, training mail for example say um, mostly we masquerade these mails for example sampak kumar is at 1 2 3 apdin or gmail irukke and account apdina and the mail la vandu i can actually um, modify it in such a way that it will reach the intended recipe and uh, then i will say that uh, you have an attachment can you please open this attachment because you have just received an invoice abrin you uh, will just send it across people will click on it so when they click on it it is they, then we just post a message to say that your system has been act we are encrypting your drive and things like that the moment we do this it is important for the user who has been compromised to go and report it to the it team the saying that this is what has happened and there should be a proper incident response plan if there is no incident response plan uh, then the entire organization it will be a failure on part of entire organizations that is why the modala edutha onne and the very first thing that we look at when we do an audit is to ensure that they have uh, their um, proper um, policies procedures and um, guidelines in place so adala vand one of the when we look at an it system audit one of the thing that we look at is the incident response on the back dr plan so incident response plan paatham appadina it may not even be in alignment with your dr plan then it becomes a bit of a challenge because your dr plan may say something different your incident response plan may have a different role to play so it is very important to have a proper uh, um, incident response plan idla yerkanave ipo konja naalik munadi dhan sonna inda yen phishing trainings la conduct pannu appingirathu so in the incident response plan or in the mock drills it is necessary that you should test your incident response plan because you will know the rate of failure so for example if i say um if i say send out a mail to say about 10 people uh, with um, you know, with a malware attached on document apdina and if there are about one even one person who is coming and reporting it saying that i have received this mail apdina the பத்து பேருக்கு அனுப்பிச்சிருக்கோங்கிறது ஐடி டீம் ஆர் த பர்சன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் சென்ட் இட் வில் நோ பட் 
if there is a reporting of only one person who is actually coming and reporting back to IT to say, I have received this kind of fishy smell, it looks fishing to me, then it makes sense to the IT team to say that the nine people who haven't uh, reported it means that they, are, they don't have any knowledge on why they are doing the security training or why they are not reporting. So it is important that as a user, user, one the over user, it becomes an um, accountability and responsibility on the part of user to report fictitious mail to the um, IT team. So these are some of the best um, uh, ways of deterring cyber attacks. So one is governance, hardware devices should be protected and the hardware devices and deterrent tools should be updated on a regular basis. Firmware should be updated on a regular basis. You should have a better uh, security governance plan so if security and governance plan is not um, um, effective and the governance is not, if the government or the board, the management is not supporting your IT team in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the way it should, then it becomes a big uh, gap. You should have uh, cyber resilience um, and you should enforce your uh, frameworks properly and guidelines should be adapted. Government, most governments will have a mandatory requirement for uh, big companies or even medium companies to report if there is a, a big hack but small companies may, uh, won't even come and say that i'm you know i'm hacked that is the sad part and most of them will come will mostly try to format and restore data and things like that i have had a couple of experiences like that where um, actually one of my friend one of my very close friend actually you know, who handles a um, support for one of that you know, company came to me one evening around 7 p.m. and said, "In my day, hard drive one day is getting encrypted." And so the very first thing when I looked at it, the first thing I noticed was that the entire system itself didn't have uh, an antivirus installed properly, and it was not configured. Uh, so it, that that actually proved the that that provided the opportunity for the hacker to hack into the machine and start encrypting the drive. So in these instances, the recovery point one the recover data recover So it is essential that people should ensure that their antivirus, their things are in place. It is necessary to have encryption program in place. Most of the companies will have uh, encryption tools and they will enforce people to encrypt their drives. From a technical point of view, um, from a, these are some of the governance point of view where you will have to have uh, compliance, uh, all this as a part of uh, uh, protecting and uh, deterring cyber attacks. Cyber technology cooperation, collaboration between private and public entities is very essential. is very essential to um, um, share um, threat um, profiles. So, for example, a private uh, institution may have a uh, attack in the form of a Doppler or some worm and um, maybe the public entities where are in the class so it is essential to share data and understand the malware problem how it is being affected by different areas so vulnerability assessment standards and vulnerabilities are some are some of the um, uh, critical areas where uh, the technical aspect should be taken care of incident response i have already spoken um, it is important to monitor uh, the incident response as well so either one the or a regular cyber security review or a regular cyber security audit by the by your own inter internal team who is not a part of our IT team can actually conduct them to verify what gaps are there and then um, try to guide the IT uh, team in the right manner but in the path on majority of it uh, if we go and point fingers to say IT you have one two three four as gaps uh, from a non-IT person, then you really get into trouble because IT will look at it from a different point of view. IT people, the IT person only understands from you know, the entire thing from a tec technical perspective, but he doesn't understand it from an uh, administrative perspective. Uh, it, it creates a lot of um, a rupture in uh, departmental relationships. Adhanala, it is very essential to understand each other first and why is that they are saying. Audit up in LA, it is. It doesn't mean that it is necessary to find faults. Uh, an audit is done only for the sake of the improvement. But most of it is taken as why are we being targeted with these?
findings. Cyber security needs in the market is very complex. areas like yesterday, as I was explaining, there are so many domains, and um, expertise in each of these domains is very, very uh, minimal. Um, approximately, the cyber security now, uh, the demand for cyber security uh, scope has increased tremendously. But um, with this demand, it is also essential that every fresher we hire, it will be a problem. Uh, the fresher may think that he knows everything. The moment a, a student actually comes out of the college, he, he, he has the idea that. I am a superhuman being. I don't have, I know everything. What he knows is nothing. Zero is what every student should understand. Because if he, do, if he doesn't understand, he will never get into a company's um, under, way of understanding things. It is very, very important to understand that aspect. Every country has, a, sorry, every uh, company has its own way of handling things. So getting gelled into and getting groomed under that particular company will be very different from his way of his studies. So it is very important to understand these aspects as well when someone is looking for um, a scope or a you know, opening in these areas. Um, many companies may even hire a person with uh, no knowledge um, if he has the right, uh, right attitude. If the person does not have a right attitude, one of the most soft skills that we look at when we hire people is to have the attitude. If the attitude is not right, he's not going to learn. If he's not going to learn, he's not going to go anywhere in, um, in the um, chain. So the articulation rate in many of the IT fields is very high because uh, in every young person wants to make money quickly and, uh, and it is not possible. Technically, it is not possible. That is something that they have to understand um, from a, from, from an IT perspective, uh, from, a, from any company's perspective as well. So Ademari, why I said this uh, at the beginning was that it is essential that the person should have the ability to learn new technologies. Because um, if we don't in, in a, uh, you know, learn a new technological skills and the skill sets that is used, uh, for example, I may use a, a very simple tool for monitoring my network, but the person who has just come out of the school may have understood it from a different perspective. So it is very essential to understand all these areas um, before they get into this. Um, the second segment is on the digital forensics. What is forensics? Forensics are looking into something where there has already been a crime that is committed and why that crime is committed. Forensics is to investigate. Um, or a crime, and a crime on the scientific basis and scientific uh, techniques are based on the use on the understanding them is what is called forensics. Digital forensics on the is a, a part of science where you use them to understand the digital um, way uh, of committing uh, or crime digital crime we use. Digital, digital forensics in uh, digital forensics pathona naraya movies lalam papo um, where people there will be some person who will get into investigating something from compute using computers and our hard drive open money examine papo it is very glamorized in movies, but in real in reality, it is an entirely different uh, story altogether. Uh, forensic uh, examination, for example, if I am pointing a finger at someone to say that this guy has committed a uh, crime, uh, the crime should be proven in the court of law. Until and unless it is proven in the court of law, it makes no sense um, to convict the person who has done this. So, that's why we have four and six. We have two parts. We have to science and scientific methods are the science part of it, whereas the forensic part of it is applied investigation. Sorry, let me go back here. Oh, sorry. 
science, scientific methods and laws. You know, forensic part one. The what is the aim of a digital forensics? Forensics well, one is a scientific way to explain that the crime has been committed. So, adhikaha nama vande in the forensics study panro. Traditionally, scientific law vande. எப்படி இருக்குன்னா இப்போ ஒரு ஒரு வீட்டில் வந்து திருட திருட வந்து உள்ள தேடி இருக்கான் அப்படின்னு வச்சுக்கோங்க முதல்ல வந்து ஒரு போலீஸ்காரன் ஒரு வந்துட்டு அவர் வந்து ஒரு இனிஷியலாக இப்படி மேல் நோட்டமாக பார்ப்பார் பார்த்துட்டு ஓ ஐ ஹேவ் இந்த ஓ இது இப்படி தான் இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு அசம்ஷனில் ஹி வில் மேக் ஆல் திஸ் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் அண்ட் இஸ் ரிப்போர்ட்ஸ் அது ஒரு ப்ரொவிஷனல் ஹைப்போத்தசிஸ்ன்னு கூட சொல்லலாம் அந்த ப்ரொவிஷனல் ஹைப்போத்தசிஸ் வந்து அதை டெஸ்ட் பண்ணி பார்த்தோம்னா அந்த லைக்லினஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபெயிலியர் ஆல்சோ வில் பி வெரி ஹை ஸோ தென் ஓவர் எ பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் தே அடாப்டட் மோர் சயின்டிஃபிக் வே ஆஃப் செக்கிங் திங்ஸ் ஸோ அந்த சயின்டிஃபிக் வே ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் செக்கிங் திங்ஸில் வந்து ஒன் ஆஃப் தென் தே ஸ்டார்ட் வாஸ் யூஸிங் டிஎன்ஏ ஃபிங்கர் பிரிண்டிங் டிஎன்ஏ அனாலிசிஸ் அண்ட் திங்ஸ் லைக் தட் ஸோ இது வந்து இட் இஸ் நாட் நெசசரி அந்த இனிஷியல் ஹைப்போத்தசிஸ் முதல்ல அந்த போலீஸ்காரர் எப்படி இது பண்ணியிருக்காரோ அந்த ஹைப்போசிஸ் ஹைப்போத்தசிஸ் வந்து கம்ப்ளீட்டாக ராங்காக இருக்கணும் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு நெசசிட்டியும் கிடையாது அது புரிஞ்சுக்கிற விதமும் டிஃப்ரெண்ட்டாக இருக்கலாம் ஸோ அதில் வந்து எக்ஸாமின் பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னா கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் வந்து இஸ் வெரி எசென்ஷியல் இஃப் த கண்ட்ரோல் இஸ் நாட் ஆக்சுவலி ரைட் Um, then it becomes very difficult for the uh, forensic person who is analyzing this uh, from a scientific point of view you know fails forensics la vandu it is it is very scientific and other vandu it should be more um, it should be categorized before we look into it or a forensic investigator vandu should at least have about two or three theories or uh, phenomena to understand what could be actually right because the when they legally kondu poi or court la submit pandrom apdinona all plausible explanations will be uh, taken into account when we uh, look at um, when we when we look and look towards closing our arguments in the court of law so either uh, either it is very very um, essential that the forensic investigator should use proper tools um based on what standard operating procedures are most uh, um, forensic tools uh, are hired differently so forensics la vand different areas iruk forensic scientists apdinu or group of people are there who base their uh, work um based on um, their uh, investigations so for example there is a murder committed and committed up in a group of team actually come together to investigate that murder adala vandu or hospital la irukra or post mortem doctor vandu can do a post mortem to analyze what actually went wrong and why the person died whereas the police department may look into it from a different way by investigating his house his uh, friends his uh, background checks and things like that so then based on the evidence collector or the laboratories la kondu vai kodutha they have to actually authenticate and um, um, to verify the claims um, as a part of it there are um, many forensic scientists across the, across the globe uh, who who support actually police and military people uh, in giving their specialist or expert opinion on it forensic science specialists um, on the specialize in certain areas uh, for example there may be a bomb disposal uh, person who will be an expert only in a bomb disposal um, area our our day idu vand when he looks into it he he looks at it only from an, uh, from what could be the impact of the bomb exploding and things like that so they can after um, say for example they disarm the bomb and then they start looking into what are the causes see they epdi panirukanga the bomb ku enna la use panirukanga apdi paakarche they become uh, forensic specialists in uh, um, respective area so for example um, uh, forensic pathology pathology vande is, is a field of medical field where Uh, different um, analysis are different um, criteria are taken to understand why a certain crime was committed 
DNA fingerprinting is also an, uh, is a very vast area. This was actually um, um, brought into concept by Leicester in 1985. in the DMK, sorry, in the DNA, uh, he used um, blood samples uh, basically to understand what, uh, what, what, what each and every DNA represented. There are, um, crime in major countries like UK, crime committee, the first thing that they look at is towards the DNA evidence and um, what uh, the DNA evidence can say. Um, forensic engineering is also a different area where you have uh, uh, accidents. Um, for, uh, crimes come down or, or a husband on the or a wife and the car pulled out, car was set to be carried. In the valley, all that is not enough. So, that all investigate the crime, why, how it was committed. All that is not enough. The crime, why, how it was committed. All that is not enough. The crime, why, how it was committed. The crime, why, how it was committed. The crime, why, how it was committed. The forensic engineers could have a part of the team to understand uh, if the car really had any mechanical failures and things like that. Mm, forensics, la, uh, digital forensics, mm, evidence, digitally and the evidence collect um, digital forensics. Other than the digital media analyze Pandra, the RAM or the analyze Pandra, the hard drive or a content analyze Pandra, um, it is all part of digital forensics. Forensic accounting is to understand if uh, an organization has financial inconsistencies or financial crime committed, committed um, through different areas. FTA, for example, um, uh, money laundering. These are all forensic accounts. Analyze we use techniques from, from, from a forensic accounting point of view. Forensic dentistry is one of the major area where uh, dental examinations are carried out to under, understand um, what who the person was. Many, many cases it is um, very difficult to um, analyze the remains, but using dentistry techniques, it is it makes it more easy to Come to come sort of some sort of con conclusion. Uh, in the case studies, larke, um, the case studies, la one or two case studies na the, by the end of the session, um, the question and answers are put. Okay, um, the uh, yeah, I um, talk to Surendran on the sorry, Upendran on the share panir pare. I request you to go through that and then um, put your views I on them and then give us a brief. Over here. Forensic toxicology is identification on um, based on drugs and toxins in the body. Uh, one of the biggest um, uh, recent scandal was one of a very prominent person was uh, a Russian citizen was actually poisoned um, and um, it was very difficult to even detect um, that um, his body had uh, toxins in him. Unfortunately, the person died. And other one that was one of the recent uh, cases that happened in UK. Um, anthropology is the study of uh, human beings from a uh, different perspective. The digital forensics la vande ennala paapo apdina or a court of law poro with certain um, problem apdina. Uh, the first thing mm -hmm, the court is going to Incident um, which actually had a um, very big uh, scandal, and, and the court case was most concerned um, because there was a computer involved in it. So, other one the case fell apart. The case actually fell apart. So, in the section, forensic investigation. Oh, if 
there was any digital uh, data that was used to commit crime for example uh, facebook la vand i am posting something um, uh, which is against uh, or which incites some sort of violence apina it becomes the responsibility of the uh, um, investigator to prove that this was actually the case this is what incited the violence அந்த மாதிரி கேசஸ் எல்லாம் ப்ரூவ் பண்றது கொஞ்சம் ஈஸியா இருந்தா கூட தேர் ஆர் சம் டிஃபிகல்டிஸ் வேர் வென் யூ கவுண்டர் ஆர்கியூ த கேஸ் மே ஃபாலோ அப்பாட் ஸோ இட் ஈஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் டு கலெக்ட் எவிடென்சஸ் அப்ராப்ரியேட்லி டிஜிட்டல் ஃபரன்சிக்ஸ் இஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபரன்சிக் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இது வந்து இப்போ வைடா யூஸ் பண்றாங்க இட் இஸ் வைட்லி அக்செப்டட் இன் த கோர்ட் ஆஃப் லா ஸோ சப்போஸ் யூ சென்ட் ஏஸ் இஸ் மேல் or threatening mail and later claim that illa na vandu idu pannala apdin sonna that the court will look into the mail evidence um, and then say that okay want to uh, the, the person ha- it is also very important to understand the intention of the person uh, so it is it depends on preservation of evidence collection of evidence validation identification analysis interpretation idellame comes into uh um, uh into 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 place when it comes to uh, digital forensics so this process is quite tedious so idla vandu or anju phase irukku or digital forensics a portha varaila or anju role irukku anju role enna na identification preservation collection analysis and reporting identification is what are the um, uh, source um, when how why was the um crime committed the first stage actually identifies the potential sources um and then it collects relevant uh, information on devices uh, who was the custodian of the device where was the data located who is the you know, data owner and things like that is in the identification phase um the second phase is preserving them electronically um, for example for a crime nadandirukku they have used a computer or a laptop or a mobile to create a com- commit a crime so it is important to capture those information appropriately um digital forensics is not um, only about um, collecting evidence it is also about preserving them um, in a appropriate way so adu vandu naalaki i commit a crime and i say erase the data abdin vechpo uh so it becomes the part of the investigating officer to ensure that uh, even though it was erased and things like that he should be able to retrieve data to prove in, it in the court of law to say that this was the device that was exactly used for committing the crime there are tools for recovering those um, type of uh, information and uh, you can actually use them um, it is the person so uh, it is also important to understand that um, in or or scene of crime nadandirukku and electronic device use panirukra edathula and it is also important to understand it from a different angle from not 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 from a digital forensics point but a general forensics point as well um, analysis one of the most important thing um, in a digital forensics and process is to analyze the entire data Uh, to make sure uh, that this is exactly what was used to commit the crime there was an case um, in us i think which actually had a huge impact in, uh, where uh, one of the person who was committing this crime copied the data and um, he was selling it outside but um, by the time he got caught there were so many issues where he said that uh, this is absolutely wrong we are, i haven't stolen anything but the um, forensic investigator was able to prove that this is how the say, crime was committed so there are different types of uh, um, digital forensics my apologies i think konja uh, time jaasti i am to kan nanikire my apologies you know a anju slide da irukku we'll close it fast no uh, different types of digital forensics irukke computer forensics irukke apperma network forensics irukke uh, so computer forensics is um, mostly related to uh, identification preservation collection of uh, evidence on computers laptops storage media 
uh, to support um, investigations and legal proceedings. Network forensics is monitoring and, and, uh, and capturing of data um, on the network devices um, and then using them as a um, backup um, to uh, in show that this crime was committed using it. Network forensics is also a very vast area uh, where uh, people can ex uh, have their expertise done. So digital forensics, different types of forensics are there, web forensics, computer forensics, network forensics, data forensics, uh, social media forensics, email forensics, cyber forensics. Even email forensics are uh, is also a very critical area where uh, if a fictitious email is sent, um, and um, if you really want to go into each of that mail, you look at headers, stay, uh, on footers, the lump path, then you will analyze the keys to uh, say that this is indeed a fictitious mail and uh, this was sent by so and so person with malicious intent of being proof on the you can actually do that. Um, mobile device forensics is recovery of uh, um, uh, data from electronic um, mobile devices, PDAs, SIM cards, smartphones, and devices like this um, to prove uh, in the court of law. Again, the five uh, steps are extensively should be uh, should follow the five process of steps in a, a base panida you will be able to do all of these things digital image forensics people on the widely used now or, or digitally or digital or uh, image on the mark on a mark on the other one the you can actually investigate it to say um, this is a marked image either on the tapana or a image um, uh, it, it is actually uh, a big crime um, to even share photographs of um, uh, people mocked images uh, across many countries. It is very essential for people to understand that you shouldn't just forward, uh, mock forward. Naraya, uh, the wrong forwards and wrong is actually creating a lot of problems in the digital world. So. It is very essential for people to be responsible. Uh, they should look into each and every aspect of it. Think twice before even forwarding a WhatsApp uh, or a mass photo or anything that is received. Some of them, I can actually intercept uh, a photo from being sent from my mobile to my mobile and then morph it or uh, insert malware into them. And I can act in the, and the forward will still Go to the person. The moment the forward is actually open, I can actually compromise his phone. So it is very important to understand that um, from a technical point of view, um, the, there are a lot of crimes committed because of that. Um, we do it unknowingly, but uh, we should be responsible for bringing that to the Because we, at the end of the day, uh, when we look at it from an accountability point of view, we are accountable and not. Um, someone else I can easily intercept a message I can uh, embed whatever I want send it to the person in the end I will be the person who will need will be blamed until and unless a complete forensics is done on the entire traffic on the message how it was sent where it was marked and things like that digital and audio video uh, uh, forensics are also is also a very vast area where uh, audio Audio and videos are analyzed for authenticity. Some of them will or uh, publica on solirpa, but then we claim that no, it is completely no in the solar la but in so Adala Mandi a pretty scientific approve panla upding is uh, a part of digital audio forensics. Memory forensics is also very important in terms of um, uh, from an IT perspective. Um, some of them uh, it is very difficult to extract and this is the most difficult part of uh, the digital forensics because the moment i shut down the ram machine the uh, ram is actually clear so we mostly say we have to use a live uh, acquisition uh, for preserving evidences and things like that social media forensics is one of the most abused platform these days um, where um, we share anything and everything um, which also creates a lot of problem. Uh, if you don't forward this, you are going to be um, you know, in, 
in soup and things like that that is absolute crap i want to we shouldn't even look into those things we should just delete those messages and say okay it's fine no problem some of them actually have malware embedded in them over uh, if i take a survey of ipo in anavashamam college la or or 150 professors irukara adla or 10% na vande or survey edukuren evlo per avangalude mobile la antivirus vechirukanga appadina the percentage will be zero that is something that we can actually look at um, because we don't even think of uh, mobiles as a, a big security risk or a chinna case study i think after this it will you know this is my last slide before i close um, this is um, a case study from us zang nor engineer was working for apple's atom automated car division or our angen when he was working he actually was in company for about two and a half years and then all of a sudden he said he would be resigning and he would be like he is likely to go back to return to china to care of to take care of his elderly mother and i have a home sickness abrine he came out with an explanation um but unfortunately ad enna aachu abrina the electronic uh, um Uh, the, the ma- manager was actually a bit suspicious because for two and a half years he has worked and all of a sudden he wants to move out abling ache he actually got a bit uh, worried and then he got his um, he got a third party security company to investigate the entire process so zang's entire laptop was uh, this is a real case study uh, which actually happened in us so um, our on the on an employee your entire uh, work phones laptop ellathiyum um, uh, security companies seized and then they started looking into each and every aspects of it but what shocked them was uh, when they looked into the network activity of uh, zang's machine uh, the entire um, machine was filled with data and it consisted of a uh, lot of uh, downloading uh, pages and information from databases where he didn't even have access to so this was um, this was investigated by the fbi um, and because any any crime that involves financial aspects is uh, actually uh, within the domain of the federal bureau of investigations so when they looked into it they looked into Uh, many aspects and one thing they did find was that zang was actually um, uh, an inside not only an insider threat he was also trading in information so there were substantial network forensics that was done on this um, to analyze what had actually taken place adala vand they used networking tools like firewalls routers introduction intrusion detection applications ellame every log was checked uh and uh, to trace uh, the activity and monitor the activity so at the end they were um, able to prove that so idile end enna therinjikalam appadina it is a great opportunity or uh, to in, in this area to uh, excel but it is also necessary that we, t- we should we should have a very responsible um, attitude towards doing the entire process so with this either in a, i have shared the slides if people would like to have a look into it they can look into it um, and um, go through this um, with this i conclude the, the last session um, thank you very much for providing me an opportunity if there are any questions they can please ask them or we can always put them in the chat box thank you very much Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It was really a wonderful session, sir. Participants can post your queries in the chat box. Good evening, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, I'm asking one question, sir. Yes. Sir, is there any challenges regarding for SAS, sir? There are a lot of challenges. 
there are there are lot of challenges. It depends on what environment you are looking into, what are your requirements, um, what is that um, we really want to achieve. Software as a service is uh, you know, also a vulnerable platform. It's just not that it is not vulnerable. Platform. All aspects, be it any computer, be it any uh, service, it has got its own challenge. Uh, but yes, it depends on what type of uh, it, it again is specific uh, to what type of uh, subscriptions that we do. Every aspect has got its own challenges. It is not uh, that there is no challenge in any field. Especially in IT, if you look at it from a security point of view, you have a lot of challenges. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. If you have any queries, you can just mail it and I will be able glad to reply back with the respective. Um, but before that, I would like to know what exactly is it. Thank you. Yes. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Meanwhile, we can have a uh, photo session, sir. Mm, we can have a photo session. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Mm, yes, sir. The participants are requested to switch on their videos for a small photo session. Participants. Uh, before that, uh, good evening. My name is Dr. Sam, and I'm from the American British Academy, Dubai. Uh, welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Yeah, the series of sessions conducted over uh, five days were very interesting and informative. The topic chosen, cyber security, is, in, is actually the need of the world very apt for the period of time, especially when many of us are working from home. So the paradigm shift from conventional working environment to online mode of working has become our new normal now. So at this stage, our world becomes more connected through advancements in technology. Parallelly, hacking methods and cyber attacks are also advancing too. So you have really provided me a great deal of insight on how to safeguard ourselves and the organization and the country at large from possible cyber attack and what to do and what not. So overall, it was a wonderful experience attending these sessions. I thank the organizers for the wonderful opportunity and looking forward to much more uh, such participatory opportunities in future. I wish the uh, the organizers and the presenters uh, the very best uh, for all their future endeavors. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your valuable feedback, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Participants can share your feedback also. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, I am. I am Dr. Badhu Priya, working in SRM Trichy Arts and Science College. Uh, actually, uh, this program is uh, really, really informative and very much useful, sir. We have learned a lot uh, from this uh, lecture series on cyber security. I am sure that the knowledge we have gained from this program will definitely help us to prevent us from online fraud and other safety aspects. Uh, thank you very much uh, for this eye-opening and thought-provoking session, sir. I congratulate the department for planning and smooth organization of the five days lecture series. Thank you very much for the opportunity given, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Indeed, Thank a you. pleasure. Thank Anyone you. can actually mail me directly in case you have any queries. I will be able to guide uh, people specifically. Uh, if it is within my expertise, or I will get um, uh, assistance and seek assistance from my colleagues and experts who can actually as well give you an insight. Thank you very much. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bhatma Kriya, ma'am, for your valuable comments. Any other participants? The feedback? Now I invite Dr. M. Sugasini, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science to deliver the summary report for five days. Yes, ma'am.
sorry i think uh, sorry i think they are on mute i'm not able to hear anything sorry i think uh, yeah now it is audible sir sorry yes now i can hear uh, sorry all this while it yeah. was on mute Uh, good evening everyone on commemorating the silver jubilee year of the institution pg and research department of computer science organized a five day international lecture series on cyber security from 13th september to 17th september 2021 a resource person was dr sambath kumar venkatachari senior it manager grand thornton botswana south africa The five-day lecture series was attended by 202 participants from various countries and states. This lecture series constituted a good opportunity to foster the cyber security among the participants, which involved protecting key information and devices from security threats. Speaker explained how personal and key government data is protected against vulnerable attacks. that possesses threats to important information may it be on the cloud across various applications networks and devices the topic covered on day 1 was governance it security in which frameworks and standards security operations security risk and cyber sec intelligence etc were explained on day 2 the topic covered was compliance and risk management various risk uh, types and it programs and project delivery risk it operations and services were discussed on day 3 the topic covered on it audits in which it general controls application controls cloud audit data analytics regulatory and compliance requirements were discussed on day 4 the topic covered on it security and cyber security in which security breaches different types of security threats source of cyber security threats were was very informative and on the participants uh, from this lecture series thus building a safe barrier for the information even before it is attacked and saving the organization from a data loss that could result from the security threat thank you sir there is a request from participants to conduct a hands on training on security tools in future sir we will do that like i said it also requires your yeah, virtual it also requires people and man and things like that where we can test um we will try i will try my level best to see if i can actually provide that such a training so it's mostly like uh, i said i am an i am a person who mostly um is from an um, management and a governance uh, uh, area so i can actually do that and i can I'll, i'll try my level best to see how i can demonstrate such things thank you very much thank you very much for your feedback thank you sir thank you so much yes any other queries Right. So we wind up with a water transfer. Thank you. Silent gratitude is not much use to anyone. We must find time to thank everyone who are all with us in each and every moment. Now I request uh, Mr. K. Shankar, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science, to present a water transfer. Please, sir. good evening one and all on behalf of the management uh, department of computer science i deem it a great honor and privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion let me first first of all start by giving glory to almighty god for making the international lecture series a resounding success by the blessings and the grace of andon swami health we are able to make this event what it was first and foremost my heartfelt thanks to our 
Honorable Secretary and Correspondent Amangi V. Balaji uh, for his en encouragement to conduct this kind of events. Thank you, sir. Next, I would like to thank the torchbearer of this program, our respected director, madam, for leading and inspiring us in working towards the goal of conducting this international lecture series. We are thankful to her for huge support at all times. Thank you, ma'am. We are extremely thankful to our head of the institution, vice principal, for their gracious presence in this program. I would like to thank our chief guest, resource person, Dr. Sambat Kumar Venkatachari, senior IT manager, Botswana, South Africa, enlightening us with his knowledge about cybersecurity. This international lecture series was full of knowledge and interesting things about cybersecurity. Thank you. Dr. Sambat Kumar gave us, will uh, definitely help us in our future. Once again, I would like to thank Dr. Sambat Kumar for taking out uh, time from their busy schedule and enlightening us with the knowledge of cybersecurity. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. No event thank can. You uh, thank you, sir. No event can happen without the provision of a vast network of people. I take this opportunity to extend our most sincere thanks to all of our participants who have from different destinations uh, and research scholars, students for their support and cooperation for the last five days. I also wish to express my gratitude to our Dean, Dr. S. Madhu, all department heads, our faculty friends and non-teaching staffs. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation for the automation unit for their immense support. Last but not least, I thank you, my friends, for your cooperation in making this institu institution, lect uh, international lecture series, a uh, resounding success. Once again, I thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank sir. You very much. Thank you.